Lord, prepare us to receive your word. Clear our minds and warm our hearts. Assure us of your loving purposes for us and speak into our lives today. Amen. Our quiet time with God comes from Psalm 54 today and it talks of the faithfulness of God. Save me, God, by your power and prove that I am right. Listen to my prayer and hear what I say. Cruel strangers have attacked and want me dead. Not one of them cares about you. You will help me, Lord God, and keep me from falling. You will punish my enemies for their evil deeds. Be my faithful friend and destroy them. I will bring a gift and offer a sacrifice to you, Lord. I will praise your name because you are good. You have rescued me from all my troubles, and my own eyes have seen my enemies fall. While prayer for protection from enemies might seem an unfamiliar part of our songbook, it's probably not an uncommon experience for many people around the world today, especially in places where people are persecuted. And amid the current coronavirus crisis, mortality might be closer to our minds, and illness, job insecurity and fear might all appear to be our enemies. So what solace can we find in the words of this psalm? Where do we look when we're surrounded or feel closed in by an enemy? Whether that be illness or gossip or a genuine threat to our lives. The psalmist directs his complaint to God. But that's not all. The psalmist looks back on all God has done for him and he chooses to remember God's goodness calling to mind the fact that God has also rescued in the past. This reminds us of the words from the hymn Amazing Grace. Tis grace has brought me safe thus far, and grace will lead me home. We struggle at times to wonder about what is happening, and we feel closed in by many enemies at times. But what we need to be reminded of, as this psalmist has done, is to remember the God's goodness in the past. Remember his faithfulness. Remember his grace. And that it will carry us and lead us home. Let us pray. Father, thank you for bringing us through all kinds of challenges. Whatever our enemy has been, Help us to remember your faithfulness to us when we feel under threat. Amen.